What is up guys, it's the Mod Father 66 back again with another Elder Scrolls Online video. <clears throat> and today, I want to talk to you about what is the best spot for power levelling in the game as of now, which is March 2018. Scale Caller DLC, Dragon Bones DLC, should I say, sorry. And uh, pretty much, power levelling is basically any area where there's groups of low level lads that you can just farm for quick xp but a lot of people have got the special places where they like to go there's a uh, spot on Alakia, uh desert on the beach that's a good one for the lower levels uh, a lot of people say that sky reach is the best place to farm ideally you need two people for sky reach because it can be a real bitch if you're not used to the rotations and you know if you don't know how to uh, taunt enemies and drag them all to the same area because a lot of times they'll just run off if you get too far away but yeah there's a there's a lot of places where you can go a uh, place I'm going to show you is my personal favourite one where I, I tend to go all the time I don't get a lot of time to play due to work commitments so if I get on once a week, at the end of the week, I've got 4.8 million enlightenment points that I can quickly farm through. And to get through the 4.8 million, it generally takes me around... I can probably do it in 45 minutes in one XP pot. But there's a few things that you want to get set up first. Um, mainly is your training gear. If you do know a craft or if you're able to craft it yourself, craft any gear you want. You don't really have to use sets, but you know if, you, if you're getting some gear anyway, you might as well get some sets to help you towards <coughs> your stats. I'm a Magicka user. This isn't my character I'm going to be showing you. But uh, <coughs> yeah, so I've got five-piece Julianos and three-piece Magnus's Gift, and I've got three willpower sets, uh, three willpower piece jewelry. It bumps it up, so I've got a quite nice, uh, you know, stat pool. Uh, you want to try and get some XP pots. I only use the 50% ones because you know it's cost effective. If you use the 150% XP ones, you'll probably knock that 45 minutes down to I'd say maybe half an hour. So if they say 15 minutes, you know you're saving a fair whack because the Mythic Ethereal Ambrosia really does go for a lot. And uh, shit, don't look at that chat. That's sick. But um, yeah. So once you've got all your uh, gear crafted, I put it up to blue so it's 9% <coughs> with a full uh, gear on 9% and the weapon you get 6% I believe at blue. And the XP pots, you're looking at 130% extra XP. And uh, I'm going to jump over to the character I'm grinding and I'll show you the spot where we're going. Right then guys, here we are. As you can see, you probably know this place. If not, this place is Spellscar, just north of Belkarth and Craglawn. This area, I do truly believe, is the best place to grind. As you can see, there's some people already running around. You don't have to run it in groups. I'd say anything over level 30, you should be, you should be decent <coughs> to solo this. If you're a lower level then I would say try to group up. If you get one more person then I, I think it's 10% extra XP with one more person then it, it goes down for every extra person in the group. So as you see if these don't invite we'll just tag along. And you just want to go absolute balls deep on these. And you just want to grind as much as you can. As you see, we're getting a pretty nice XP boost, 17k. But this, I do truly believe, is the best place to farm. Other areas, you can do dolmens if you want, but they're just they're so overcrowded a lot of the time. And you get groups of like 20 people I've seen running around before, maybe more, 24. And it's just... It, Canes your XP potential so much. Let's 
deal with these. Like I say, it didn't have to be an high level to run this. <coughs> Obviously, if you do get a group, you'll run through it a lot quicker. Amazing. If this is your first character, by the way, and you're wanting to power level, I'd, I'd suggest not. I'd strongly suggest actually playing the game and doing the missions, because it is a really good story. Xenomax has done a really good job at making this world what it is, even though sometimes they do patches and you know, your favourite gear, and they can be quite dicks, to be fair, but <coughs> they've done a really good job of this game. So if it's your first character, I do recommend just playing. Just play the story, level up like that. Where are these boys going? Wait for me. I need the XP. If you've got your connoisseur uh, skill on max level on your um God, this is so hard to concentrate. On your provisioning. Obviously that gives you an extra fifteen minutes XP boost. Uh, fifteen percent Oh, I'm doing what I'm saying. 15 minutes extra on your XP bulls pops. And that's it for this video, guys. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Thought I'd throw this video out to try and keep the channel alive a little bit. Like I said, we work commitments. It's very restricted how much time I get on uh, Xbox and to record things. So if you're a, if you are subscribed and you're watching it, just stay patient. I will be back up to a regular upload schedule. But if you're new to the channel, <coughs> and I've shown you if you didn't know about this spot, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, does help the channel out a lot. As always, I've been the Mod 566, and I'll see you all on the next video.